Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and I'm coming at you again with another one of my dad's hand-painted busts. This time he's painting Oliver Reed as the werewolf from Hammer's Curse of the Werewolf. So this is a really cool looking bust, he's done a great job again. So without further ado, we'll show you what he's done, show you the process of painting it and you'll get to see the end result as well. So this is what my dad's been doing with the Curse of the Werewolf horror bust. Right, so I'm just gonna start the uh, Curse of the Werewolf. Um, instead of calling him Curse of the Werewolf, obviously it's from the Hammer production with Oliver Reed. So I'll refer to him as Ollie. And uh, I've given Ollie a coat of gray primer and now I'm just gonna start with a light flesh color and then add some grey to his fur and uh, I'll keep you, keep you up to date. Right, so I've given Ollie a coat of flesh. So it's a light flesh colour because I'm going to build, again, build the, the layers and the colours up. But uh, just to give you an idea, I'm going to do the outer bits here, dark grey. So I'll do that now. Sorry about the shaking. Now, as you can see, I've given Ollie a paint of the flesh colour and now the dark grey. And then I'm going to start and work on uh, the skin tone and um, put a bit more detail into him. As you can probably see, um, I've, I've now done his mouth and his lips and his teeth um, given a bit of coat of gloss um, there's, there's only really his eyes to kind of finish um, I've not done as much filming as I want to today because we've had workmen on the garden and they've been jackhammering and making all sorts of noise so I've just sort of cracked on um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a break then I'm going to come back mix some blood and again do the bloody bits round his mouth so I'm not concentrating so much on the detail of the mouth because a lot of it is going to be covered like in thick gooey blood looks like you know I want to make it look like he's just took a chunk out of somebody and then I will complete the ice tomorrow I have cracked on with the hand as well if you can see the hands coming on um, I, I, I'll, I'll just explain one thing um, all my other busts have been 360 for like full scale busts this is actually a, a wall hanger and Blackheart do these um, a series in, of, of wall hangers in all the universal monsters and one thing and another so this actually hangs for, you know on a wall whereas the others are like a full um, full head but I really do I really do like these because um, you know you can like I say you can hang them on a wall be quite um, space saving so that's where we are so far I've just been adding some uh, blood and some gunge I've done all his eyes um, it's pretty uh, pretty much finished um, and then I've just done some blood and touching up on his hand uh, his hand's not far off so uh, hopefully I will put the two together go from there right, I've just been adding the finishing touches to Ollie and I've, I've stuck his hand on um, that was the oddest thing I, I got some arrow dye rapid but it still takes five minutes so I've been holding on to him for five minutes um, but as you can see is He's all complete. Um, just need somewhere to hang him now. Hi folks, um, finally finished Ollie uh, from the Curse of the Werewolf. Um, I must admit, this is one of my favorite werewolf of all time with makeup. And I think Oliver Reed does a brilliant job, what he does. 
1961, Terence Fisher, Hammer. Again, another black art model. This one was scored by Joe Simmons. And I forgot to mention on the last one with Kong, the sculptor was uh, Mark Van Tyne. So again, what an excellent piece of work. I've probably gone mad on the blood. I need to down on the blood, I think. But um, again, hammer, black art models. You know, they are superb. And again, but what I can do with this one is if it'll work. I'm sorry, no special effects, man. But. Oh. Wow. Full moon coming. Again, thank you very much for watching the videos and I appreciate your comments, I really do, you know.